Here's a good spot. Pull over and we'll take a reading. Aye, aye, Captain. Activating sonar. Wow, we could have ourselves another gold rush here, Hutch. Except it's scandium ore, not gold. Ten times as valuable, though. ka -ching! I'm sure you will, Colonel Casey, but we're concerned about the distress call from Sonar D-103. They're not showing up anywhere on Thunderbird 5 scans. Then you better gear up. We may need International Rescue's help on this one, after all. Let's go in strong. Three ships, at least. Agreed. Virgil, Kale, get ready to fly. Anything Alan and I can do? Just hold down the fort. We could build one right here out of sofa cushions. <laughs> or not. All right, then. Thunderbirds are go! Any more detailed scan? Of course, John. Whoa. It appears to be the driver. Yeah, he doesn't look very friendly either. Brains, what do you make of this machine? Remarkable, isn't it? I believe it's a completely self-contained mining extraction and refinement facility. Thunderbird 1. Our guess is the machine is mining for scandium ore. Any sign of the geologists? No, but we can't see the machine's operator. I'm five minutes out. Where are the GDF? I'm on approach now. Hey, 
not shutting down, Colonel. What are your orders? Fire a warning shot. that way. Where are we? Plane City? Yeah, we're getting out of here. We're wedged between the rocks. This is Sonar Vehicle D-103. We need help. Anybody? International Rescue receiving you, D-103. Help is on the way. Colonel Casey, I've made contact with the geologists. They're right in the path of that machine, and it doesn't appear to be stopping. Understood. Attention, flyers. This is GDF Command. You have weapons clearance. Casey? Stay back, Thunderbird One. We're still assessing the situation. That's an order, Scott. FAB, standing by. Reigns, are you seeing this? The technology is unlike anything I've seen before. Gail, are you there? Go ahead, Reigns. The rescue comes for first, of course. But if you could help me get a better look at this Earthbreaker machine... If I were you, I'd be much more interested in whoever's driving that thing. Nothing but trouble. I've got a visual on the sonar vehicle. It's down at the bottom of that crevice. We can't wait any longer, Virgil. Think you can fish it out? I think I can. Okay, stand by. Attention, unknown mining machine. This is International Rescue. There are people in danger below you. Be advised, we are moving in to retrieve them. Do we take that as a yes? Be careful, and make it quick. I repeat, we're only moving in to rescue the people trapped below you. Launch and grapple. Virgil, look out! And if your Thunderbird comes any closer, I'll break it as well. Three of my four VTOL engines are gone and half my systems are offline, but I still have horizontal flight. I'm gonna try and get back to Tracy Island. The landing will be way too risky, Virgil. You need to ditch her in the ocean. This is my ship, and I say not a chance. Besides, this so-called mechanic left one of his tools behind. Reigns may want to have a look at it. Good luck, Virgil. Okay, Thunderbird 1, what's our plan? We're gonna need a little bit of that stealth of yours. With pleasure. <laughs> Activating optical camouflage. I hope this is gonna work, Brains. But Budge, hang in there. All right, here it goes.
aggressive engineering. I'll be begin a systems analysis immediately. It would take a lot of money to build that Earthbreaker. I don't know who this mechanic fellow is, but I'll bet dollars to donuts he's getting some help from the Hood. Uh, Grandma, the Hood's in prison. Which is precisely why our London agent is on her way to pay him a visit. <laughs> I can appreciate your concern, Lady Penelope, but the security in this prison is second to none. The hood cell is isolated from the rest of the facility. He has no way to pass messages to anyone. Still, this has the hood's dirty fingerprints all over it. What a pleasant surprise. I don't get many visitors, you know. The guards aren't much for conversation, either. Well, we intend to have one, and it starts with what are you up to? <laughs> Stay clear of the roof. I'm going to cut it open. International rescue. Don't worry. I'm going to get you all out of here. Get us out? How? You see that thing? It's about to swallow us whole. You need to stop that machine. Don't crack up on me, Vic. This is international rescue. They know what they're doing. These are harnesses. Start putting them on. I'm not leaving. It's sucking up rocks like popcorn out there. Vic, listen to me. You'll be attached to this line. The only place you're going is up. It's okay to be afraid, but can I count on you to trust me? Uh-huh. I'm inside the Earthbreaker. Scanning is active. Are you getting this, Brains? Yes. I'm analyzing the structure now. FAB. I'll start working my way to the top. You do, Ben. I have ways to make you talk. I think Miss Crichton Ward is doing just fine on her own, Parker. I like what you've done with the place. And this look suits you. Stripes. Yes, and red suits you. We can chit-chat all day if you like. But I suspect you're here because someone is in trouble. Perhaps something worse than me has come to pass? <laughs> you mean the mechanic? Oh, he's well in hand by now. His first mistake was taking shots at the GDF. His last was taking shots at my friends. This has nothing to do with me, of course. Being in here? Certainly not. This mechanic fellow has none of your guile and sophistication. Ah, to think he could have got away with everything, but no, he had to make a great big ugly witless show of it. By now, that Earthbreaker machine of his should be in bits and pieces, and all of that priceless scandium ore he would have taken back in the ground for someone else to claim. I've had enough! Leave me! Now! He doesn't like the sound of that, does he, Parker? <laughs> Indeed not, my lady. It almost makes you think he has something to lose. But of course, how could he, being in here? <laughs> the hood is behind this. I'm certain of it. Not another step. Shut this thing down! The explosives you planted on your way up to me have been disabled. Brains, we may have a problem. I told you to stay away. <laughs> Untouchable brains. You better have something for me. I do. I believe the mechanic is using the null point energy in a recombinant distribution matrix. I have no idea what that means. You don't need to. Just find a data cable. Anyone will do. <laughs> now what? G grab hold. Don't worry. It won't harm you. The sensors in your glove are connecting you to the machine. And that will c connect the machine to us. John, we need some help from EOS. We're standing by. Kale, I don't know what you did, but thanks for doing it. We've lost the connection. Kale, are you all right? Not really. 
But the mechanic is becoming his own worst enemy. <laughs> Good. That entire machine is one big neural link. Everything is connected. Find out whatever controls the drive system and shut it down. Searching? I believe I've found... No! Stop that! The mechanic gained access to my system. I had to sever the link. I'm sorry, John. It's not your fault, Eos. K.O. You're on your own down there. Brains, I need your help. I've got something. Please to know our engineer is very impressed with your handiwork here. He's a clever one, but not the only one with brains. You know him? Who are you, really? I'm just a cog in the wheel. Scott, Kale, I'm picking up a massive power buildup inside that machine. I think he's gonna blow it up. How fast can you run? Kale, get out of there now! Give my regards to brains. <laughs> International Rescue. Anytime. Oh, I sure hope not. I never want to be in the kind of fix where I have to see you people again. No offense. <laughs> F.A.B. Way to stick the landing, Virgil. Well, I expect Thunderbird 2 to make up for full recovery. I am, however, a little concerned about the mechanic. That machine of his was most impressive, and not in a good way. Any idea who he could be? It seems like he knows you. I haven't a clue. Behind that mask could be anyone. Well, if the hood is pulling his strings, it's gonna be twice the fun for all of us. We'll have to keep on our toes. Whatever the hood and his mechanic have planned, it's nothing that International Rescue can't face. Our first order of business, find out how he's controlling the mechanic and talking to the outside world. Then, we shut him down. <laughs> International Rescue respond to a distress call from a ship that's been overtaken by ruthless pirates next. Stand by for more brand new Thunderbirds Argo.